I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be Insecure Women Who Create Unnecessary Drama. I've got an email here from a viewer. He says, hey, Coach Corey. He says, I'm in a long-distance interracial, interracial relationship of one year. My girlfriend had dated men of my race, but she had a bad, had a bad experience in the past because they cheated on her. She was kind of careful about me, but she said I was different from those guys. She said I was perfect and we made plans for the future about kids and marriage. We met online and met for the first time in March of 2012. It's like, I can't believe you're talking about kids and marriage and all that stuff before the first time you've even met. He says, and we hit it off great. We kissed and did things. She went home. I visited her in July. Everything was so good. She called and texted me every day and we would spend hours on the phone. Well, that's a part of your problem there because you, your phone is t basically taking the place of a relationship. And if the two of you really care about one, unless you're, of course, you're like on the other side of the country, then I can understand. But the idea is that when you're in those kind of situations, you just make sure that you're the one that ends the conversation first. The idea is to always like leave her wanting more. Oh, baby, it's, it's great hearing your voice, but I got to run and I'll talk to you later. I'll call me later and just... And as long as you keep her always chasing and pursuing you, you got to understand, like when you're in a relationship like that, it's going to fluctuate. Sometimes she's going to call you two or three times a day. Sometimes she might not call you for two or three days. And you have to understand that women are like cats. They kind of come and go as they please. And when they disappear like that, when they've been chasing you, as long as you haven't done anything to screw up, obviously, she'll call you a couple days later. That's part of feeling your strength because in those days that she's away from you and not calling you, it gives her time to build sexual anticipation, to wonder about you, to think about you, to think about your future. And the whole time that she's thinking about you, that causes her interest to go up. But if you were to start calling and chasing and pursuing her, that actually will cause her interest to drop and cause her to pull away. Because what happens is, is then you start assuming the role of the woman in the relationship. And then you become the pursuer instead of the pursued. And she'll lose all attraction for you. A lot of women will think that they want a guy to chase them, but then you ask them about the guys that they actually date, and they never date guys that chase them. They always blow those guys off and put them in friends on. I had a YouTube comment from a woman a couple weeks ago that was objecting to something that I said, and she says, oh, I want guys. I like it when guys chase me, and I have lots of guys chasing me. I'm really beautiful. I'm really attractive. But then in the same sense, she says, all the guys that chase me, I don't want any of them. But I want a guy who chases me. It's like she doesn't even get, get herself. She doesn't even understand herself and what she responds to, and a lot of women are like that. He says, we entertain and enjoy each other. We felt that we were truly in love. After my visit, things got hard for her. She lost her car. She hates her job more. And people around her started annoying her. Oh, poor baby. He says, in August 2012, after I came back home, she was more upset with me and accusing me of cheating when I really never did anything like that. Really? Never did anything like that? That kind of means like, well, I did a little bit of cheating, but... What she doesn't know won't hurt her. He says, she kept bringing up the past, saying, I dissed her for another girl, leaving her so I could talk to the local girl that I was with before I even knew my girlfriend and was in a serious relationship. So when a girl says that, you just say, honey, that was the past. That was before you and I even got together. You know you are my fucking sex goddess. And I can't wait to see you again because it's obvious I need to spend a little bit more time hanging out with the little man in the boat because you obviously miss me and that's why you're so cranky. Those are the kind of things you say, you know, like little sweet lovey talk. She, and she'll be giggling. So in, in essence, what she, the reason she's upset is she's saying, oh, you don't love me. And then when you get all charming and sweet and playful like that, it, you're, you're in essence communicating, you're being silly. You're like the queen of my universe, honey. You know that. Don't be silly. No other girl can compare to you. Come on. Do you really think there's another girl out there better for me than you? Well, I don't know. Maybe like really? You think? Do you think I should start looking for another girl because you don't, you don't think you got what it takes to make me happy long term? Is that what you're saying? I, well, no. I was like, come on, baby. You're sexy as hell. I talk with some confidence here. Say stuff like that because when you get into defending yourself instead, because love is playful and fun. It's not serious and. This is one of the places where guys run into the danger zone. It's like she starts talking like this and gets a little bitchy, and a guy doesn't know how to react, and what does he do? He goes right into his head and starts using logic and reason to try to win an argument with her, which all it does is piss her off because she's trying to communicate that she doesn't feel loved, and if you were to listen to her and acknowledge her in the proper way, then she would feel loved. But when you start trying to argue with her and start going, 
well, you know, I sent you a card last week, and I bought you a present the week before that, and I called you five times, and we had sex six times we were the last we were together. And remember I took you on that trip last year? It's like, it doesn't matter what you did in the past with women. The only thing that fucking matters is what you do right now. Think about that for a second. I, I write about that extensively in my book. He says, saying I have feelings for some girl because at one time I went to look at some girl I used to talk to on Facebook. He says, these are the two things she keeps bringing up when she is upset and she does that for no reason. All The reason she brings it up and she keeps bringing the same thing up is because at times she feels like you don't love her and care and she's, she's a little insecure. And all you have to do is reassure her in a playful, sweet, charming way, the baby talk, however it is that you talk to each other when you guys are really sweet and everything is going great. Remember, you're the man. Think of yourself as like the king of your kingdom. And as the king of your kingdom, you decide how things are going to be. And you should decide that your life is going to be a drama-free zone. Love is playful and fun. It's not serious. And you're making the mistake of getting in these serious conversations with her instead of bringing it back to just being playful and fun. You're, what you're not you're missing here is that she doesn't feel loved and all you need to do is reassure her in a charming playful sweet way he says then we got back together and she still didn't communicate much and never answered her phone New Year's was closed she was being negative towards me and I tried to talk about it but she didn't budge and I told her I'm going to break up and send back all of her stuff at first she was really mean and agreed, but then she started saying that she was sorry and wanted us to try our best for the new year and start new again. Yeah, because it's like you get to the point where you're like, I'm sick of this. I want to just have a good time and you're creating all this unnecessary drama, so let's just break up. Why don't I send you your shit back and we can go our separate ways? And she's like, oh, 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 oh. Because what happens is, is that since you didn't respond to her properly, your behavior enables her to continue to be bitchy and nasty and it actually will get worse and worse as time goes on. You basically got to the point where you're like, hey, you know, we can break up over this nonsense. I'm not going to put up with this crap. So it's a good thing that you stood up for yourself, but at the same token, you were a little clueless as how to respond, and that's that can be really dangerous to the long-term overall success and health of your relationship. So he says, so being hopeful, I agreed to it, and things felt like they were slowly getting back to normal until she caught a flu, and she said she wasn't able to talk to me much, and yes, she was really sick, and I checked on her from time to time. She started talking less again, and then totally ignoring me for three whole straight days. Don't take it personally. Just don't stop calling her. It's like, so what happened is you then became the pursuer. Women are like cats, so the cat got bored with you, and that's why she didn't call you for three days. You pursued too much. You over-pursued over -pursued to the point where she didn't want to talk to you. He says, I called, email, and then text, and I realized she needed time to herself. I went one whole day without contacting her, and then at night I got three texts from her accusing me of doing things behind her back and saying that I don't want to be with her anymore at all because I didn't text her for a whole day when she ignored me for three days. When you get something like that, just, honey, I love you, but you're being silly and you're creating unnecessary drama. If you keep doing this, you're going to ruin our relationship all on your own. Don't talk to me this way. Talk to me sweet. If you got something you want to talk about or something that's upsetting you, then I'm happy to listen. But we need to have mature adult communication here instead of this you know, shit that's like five-year-olds. This is like grade school, high school nonsense. He said, I texted her calmly and ignored her accusation doing what I read. I feel, she, her, I feel love means they would do anything for you if she was like that. I can be needy, but she says she likes it. Okay, I don't really need to read anymore. I can tell what you're you're doing wrong here. You're you're allowing her to get all serious and create all this drama in your relationship instead of being playful and fun. And at the end of the day, she sounds like she's an insecure girl. And you obviously don't know how to communicate with her in a manner that I talk about in my book. And so even if you have read my book, you need to go back and read it again because it you you didn't get how you didn't understand properly how to communicate with her. And that's why you're still having problems and, and the other problem is, is that you're pursuing her too much and she's a woman should be doing 70 to 80 percent of the calling texting and pursuing it shouldn't be 50 50 and you can see yourself and anybody else watching this for that matter when you start to text her more and pursue her more she backs off and you're you're, you're not noticing that so that's why you should make sure that she's doing 70 to 80 percent of the calling texting pursuing and talk to her in the ways like I talked about earlier in this video 
And maybe you should also consider booking a phone coaching session if you really want to get things turned around. Don't wait until they're really bad and fucked up and broken up before you book a phone coaching session because then it's a hundred times harder to get the girl back as opposed to doing something now when you guys are still still talking. And you can book a phone coaching session with me by going to my website and then clicking the products tab which will be at the top of your screen on my website and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook on my website underneath the email sign up box is a box that has a link that will take you right to Amazon so you can download the Kindle version. If you don't have a Kindle device, just you download one of their free e-reader apps for whatever electronic device you want to read my book on. And I will talk to you soon.